So when we're onboarding new clients, what we want to do is collect information about their business, about their logins for their website and hosting, and other software that we're going to need to be able to deliver success on their project. A lot of the times that can be quite cumbersome as emails are back and forth and phone calls and you're not getting all the information uh, that you need to get started. So what we want to do to make that as efficient and hands-off process as possible is we want to systemize that using forms and pages on your website. So let's go take a look in the studio and see how it's done. So the first thing that I want to take a look at is what the finished form and page looks like. So here you can see on uh, my agency website, Renegade Empire, we've got the new client information page. So what we'll be doing is we'll be recreating this content on this page and just recreating this form here. So this is where we collect all of the details uh, from our clients as we're onboarding them. Uh, so it's HTTPS as well, so it's secure. So make sure that you set that up as well. And what we'll be doing is going through how to import this into Gravity Forms, and then I'll walk through uh, each of the details. So what I have set up already is I'm using uh, Local by Flywheel for my WordPress install. Um, I have uh, Astra Theme installed. I've also got Elementor installed, and of course, I've got Gravity Forms installed. So what I want to do here is go into the Form section, which is Gravity Forms, uh, go into import export because I already have the form completely set up to just speed up this process a bit. So I'm going to go import export, and then I'm going to go to import forms, and then select files to, uh, to choose the, uh, the import here, and then just click on import. All right, excellent. So that's uh, created my form. So I'm going to go into the edit forms and I'm just going to walk you through the details here. So first of all, we've got HTML content at the top. Now that's just the, the intro, that's just the welcoming the client and letting them know what to expect from the form. Uh, next of all, we've got a little uh, heading there, like who are you? So I want a bit of information, about the, uh, personal information about uh, the person submitting the form. Uh, company name, website, email. Uh, some of these are required, some of them aren't. Feel free to tweak and uh, season to taste, adjust to, to what works for you. Uh, I've got some information to explain each section as well. So as the client is actually going through this, they understand why it's important and they can also troubleshoot about how to get this information. So you can be as hands off as possible when it comes to just sending this to your client and then uh, getting the, the right information um, as quickly and easily as possible. Um, I also have some conditional logic built in here. So I'm just going to walk you through a couple of these things. So here we've got, do you know where the website is hosted? Now on the, the live form itself, I'm gonna, just going to go down to that section. And we've got, do you know where the website is hosted? If I click on yes, it actually shows up the additional fields there so they can insert um, the details as to where the website is hosted. Uh, if, they said, if they click on no, sorry, I have no idea, which can be very common, unfortunately, uh, they can click on that, but it won't show up those additional fields. And this is just to keep the form nice and clean and it's not cluttered with extra info, which would be less likely for them to actually fill it in. So coming back over to Gravity Forms, uh, coming in here, uh, I can see I've got it set as required uh, in that uh, section there. We don't set up the conditional logic in the question uh, itself. It's in the, the fields that we want to show or not show. So if I scroll down a bit to the web host address, username and password, within these fields, I go into advanced and I've got it set here, enable conditional logic. And I've got show if this question, do you know where the website hosted, uh, is yes. So only show that field if the radio button yes is selected. And I do the same thing for the additional fields there. Uh, and that makes it, the form nice and short and only display the relevant information uh, if the client selects the, uh, the relevant fields. So I followed the same process uh, for different, uh, different sections. So the domain registrar as well as uh, FTP uh, information coming down to the WordPress admin login as well. So we want to be able to collect all the sensitive information that we need from the client in a consistent and secure way. So season this to taste, uh, we use as part of the onboarding process. So there'll be another video that I'll, I'll share with you as well, that whole onboarding process. This is just one piece of it. Uh, something that we added in quite recently was to get their email account information. So uh, letting the client know 
that, uh, that we need access to that in order to set things up and integrate it into their website. And again, we've got conditional fields for whether, if they select yes or no for having an email marketing system. Uh, so what we want to do after we've adjusted that and seasoned that to taste, we want to click on update to save the form. And then coming over into settings and then form settings. All right, and we can change what the button actually says here. I've set it to send information. And if you're using the export that we would have added into this, uh, into this video, uh, it'll have this uh, set up already. I've also got the anti-spam honeypot uh, enabled there to reduce the amount of spam that comes through. Coming down to the confirmation section, what I've got set up is a default confirmation that just says, thanks for sending through that info. Uh, we've received it now and we'll check through it to make sure we have everything we need. We'll be in touch shortly via email with the next steps. So once the client inputs that information, that's the message that they'll actually receive. Over to the notification section. So the admin of the website will receive this one and it's just all fields from, uh, from that particular form. And then also one for the client. Uh, make sure you adjust these settings because we want to make sure that it's not actually coming from this particular email, but it's coming from your email. So change that to suit and then adjust uh, these settings as well. Any of the content, make sure it's coming from your name and not my name. Uh, adjust that to suit your business and your uh, sign off, your email signature. We've got a uh, high first name. Thanks for sending us your website details. We'll test everything and make sure we don't have any issues. If everything looks good, we don't need any for information. We'll have your account set up and ready to work within a couple of days and you'll get the official welcome email with details. Thanks and feel free to reach out if you have any questions. So you adjust that uh, to suit what you would like for your onboarding sequence. And then just click on update. All right, so we've got the form set up. So the next thing that we want to do is actually set up the page and then embed this form into the page. So I'm just going to go into pages and then add new. And I'm going to call this new client information. Okay, and then I'm going to click on add form. Select the new client information form leave the rest of the settings as they are, insert the form, I'll click on publish and then I'm just going to go over to view page. All right, so I'm just double, doubling up on the, the form title there. So I'm just going to go back into edit page, go back into this, uh, into the short code there. I can either delete the whole short code and start again or I can just change this title over to false and I'll click on update, view the page and now that secondary title doesn't show. So we've just got the title of the page, uh, the intro that's actually come from the HTML content of the form and then we've got all the form uh, set up exactly the way that we had it within Gravity Forms. So what you want to do is make sure you test this before you actually send it through to your client, send it to someone else and get them to test it as well. Make sure the emails are all working before you actually uh, send this over and have your clients fill it in. Again, make sure that you have HTTPS uh, installed on your, on your website as well to make sure this is actually getting sent through securely. So that's how you collect uh, client information securely on your website. Uh, if you found this uh, tutorial helpful, uh, click on the subscribe button. Make sure you click on the bell icon as well to be notified when we have new tutorials that go live. And uh, if you have any comments or questions at all about this video, please uh, let me know below as well and I'd be happy to answer. And if you have anything that you'd love to know about running a successful freelance business, please let me know in the comments as well and we'd be happy to create more tutorials for you to help you grow as a freelancer. Until next time, I'm Simon Kelly, go elevate.